next guest is beloved by Hardys everywhere in the world, including <laughs> us, as Hope Valley's hunky Jesse Flynn. Oh, it's yeah. okay, I said it. He <laughs> is back with us today to make his Nana's traditional pierogies. Yes. Please welcome back to our home, the very sweet and wonderful Aaron Buckles. Thank welcome you. back. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're so happy to have you here. <laughs> well, I'm excited. Always, we're very excited about this. Yeah. I know this is the first time for us, so we'll get into that in I just a moment. Nervous, yeah. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Listen, we have Nana, right? Yes. Anna. Nana, Anna. Nana, Nana, Anna. Anna. This is her recipe. Her recipe. We've heard all about G Dog. Mm -hmm. This is your grandma. This is, who's, so this is G Dog's mom. There. Okay, so it's G Dog's yeah. mom. Yeah. So. Nana taught G Dog how to make this, and also taught your father how to make this. Absolutely. And this is a, a tradition that that has been in the, it to you guys. in the Buckles family forever. And I <laughs> yeah. know that G Dog makes these for her friends she does. on and her, Sundays. And her church. And her church. And her yeah. church, and yeah. they love it. Oh my gosh, is that you? That's me. Yeah. Oh, you in the kitchen. Oh See, I was in the cook, but I like to play with the pots and pans oh, a lot. So my that was my goodness. thing. Just bang on. And that's Nana on the left. Oh yeah. my goodness. Uh, G Dog has gotten a lot of love on our show, so it's time really? that Nana gets some love too, because I, I know G Dog's say. a huge. Huge. One calls the heart fan. Yeah, yeah. So she does this every Sunday for the church and her friends. So they have a big viewing party. I think Nana would be a hearty too if she was with Oh, us. she we for should, sure would yeah, be. We should remind everybody that G Dog is your oh, grandma. Right. Yes, like, yes. I just want to make sure yeah. that you guys People know what we're talking home. about here. G Dog is my grandmother, yeah. Grams. And, and that's Nana, what you call your grandmother. That's what we call her. And yeah. Nana is G Dog. <laughs> yeah, they're getting the whole thing. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. The hierarchy of it all. Okay. Cameron, Orly, I don't yeah. have to invite you to start eating. No, no, we're good. Oh, you already went for it? Oh, my yeah, God. Going she, in, no, going no in. fork needed. Get in okay. there, Elsie. Yeah, go you go okay. ahead. All right. We'll so make them. It starts with Nana's famous pierogi dough, which mm -hmm. is over here. We already did that and we rolled yes. it out. It's a typical dough. You make the well and you drop the eggs in. You knead it and do the whole thing. Yeah. Let it rest, roll it out, we're good to go. Perfect. So we have that set over there ready to go. Now what is what is her famous filling? Now this is potato and onion and then cottage cheese. Um, okay. Or curd, curd, uh, dry curd cheese in Canada and then it's called something else. It's here. called farmer's cheese here. Yeah. So if you take a look at this, if we can get a close up mm. there. So Aaron said to me, so she puts cottage cheese in it. And I said, well, this is the driest cottage cheese I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so in America, it's called farmer's cheese. Yes. You all know farmer's cheese. You could also use like cheddar or jack too. But you, you really could use yeah. the, the cottage cheese that we know here as well. It would just be a little wetter, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. we have boiled and riced our potato. Mm -hmm. So drop in the onion, yeah. And then this is our onion that we sauteed with some olive oil. Oh, it smells good. Oh my too. gosh, I know. Yes. Then the farmer's cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, you can start mixing yeah. that this around. This is the vinegar, right? Yep, vinegar. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, just a tiny bit of vinegar and some salt. Yeah, and, and you just, mix uh, that all around. Yeah. The you filling is like the most Everything. comforting. Yeah. Like, oh, it's like a hug. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like I know your grandmother just mm -hmm. by. It's a traditional it. Polish. Yeah, take over there. Little, it's like a Polish dumpling. Yeah. Is what it is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. These are so. And when, good. They're, when they're crispy like that, when they're mm -hmm. fried, isn't oh, that yeah. good? Oh, with they're the sour so cream. Yeah, I'm really mm. into it. That's all right, the best way to have them too. So go ahead and bring Nana's dough over here. Now here's the fun part, but also the tricky part. You gotta be careful, right? Yes, so we'll make ourselves, I'll grab these. Okay. There you go. Let's show everybody what you're doing. Yeah. I like that little trick. Yeah. So all you She's need is a glass. And the glass. Yeah, what, so, what are those cups? There you go, oh, we didn't go straight through. Little, little scotch glasses? Don't they? Yeah. I or they're they just little be. dessert cups. Little dessert oh, cups. Oh, you know oh. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But if you wanna make a scotch glass. See where my mind goes. I mean, go for it, yeah. I mean, what's wrong with go really good with scotch. This is more like, you got a cobbler in that? Usually not. Okay, so we'll move this. Oh boy. Now here's the thing, you wanna make sure that you do have a glass so that they're all the same size, so they cook yes. evenly, right? And this is the tricky part too. Okay. Okay, so when you're filling them, you don't wanna overfill, you don't wanna underfill. Okay. And you can't get it on the edges because when you're pinching them together, they'll fall apart because they'll, you know, like the from the inside. Right, the, yeah. so you don't wanna overstuff. It's not a burrito, it's a pierogi. Exactly, exactly okay. not a burrito. So let me know if I'm overstuffing. Okay. Coming up on the difference between a pierogi and a burrito. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, I've already overstuffed, I think, Aaron. <laughs> no. Did I do it? Well, Nana, how I am I doing? Do, I just do a little bit how at a time, know? you know? Oh, and you pulled it. Yeah, so you, you want to stretch it, it a out bit. a little That's bit. That's what my dad does, anyways. I was okay. a, an assistant on his making last time, so. I like, right. uh, you know, my favorite part about this so far is just the concentration level that you both have mm -hmm. right now. Oh, it's, it's pretty inspiring. This yeah. is very. Are you feeling zen? Are you doing, yeah, I'm like, feeling very meditation? zen, but this is a family recipe. I don't want, I, you know, Nana's watching. I want to try to make a prop. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's, that's she's right, looking Nana. Looking down on us. Nana. And it's so cool that this is a family affair that you made these with your dad. That like everyone. Yeah. Making these. What a great thing. Every great like Thanksgiving <gasps> and. Uh, <gasps> Oh my Look what you created. Christmas. Look what you did. Look at my pierogi, you guys. That's great. That's Yours awesome. is really good. It's like I'm authentic. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh yes. my gosh, I hope I made the Polish You've graduated, in America yeah. proud. Yeah. Okay, so now. And it's all in the pinching, too, and you did yeah, excellent. It's all about the pinching. Yeah. 
Let's see yours, Aaron. Well, hold on just one second. <laughs> I'll get there. I'm waiting for that family touch here. And there, there we go. go. Kind of it's so beautiful. Yeah, there we go. Good job, right, guys. So now we'll drop them in boiling water. Yes. And there's a key to this. I know you don't want to overcrowd. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't want to throw them all in at once. You'll drop it in, and then it will rise, and it'll. How long do they stay in there? Here's what's interesting. Yeah. Tell them about this yeah. cooking method. Just, just a couple minutes. I mean, you put them in, and it'll, it'll, they'll sink, come up, and they'll sink again. And then come up. It's, so a, it's, double it's a double. It's a double. Oh, I love that. Is that interesting? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a ride at Disneyland. So if they're not frozen, <laughs> I don't know, it's an I don't know what that meant. I don't I know, know what that meant. <laughs> I'm not there sure. You go. There you go. Yeah. So it goes up, it goes down, <laughs> yeah. it goes up again. Exactly. Okay, yeah. and then once they've come up the second time. And if they're not time, frozen, it's only a couple minutes, so it won't take very long. Right, because it's fresh dough. So exactly. once it's come up the second time, then they're ready to go, and they're over here. Prepare them the best way ever. Okay, tell everybody. So this is some uh, butter, brown butter you put in there? Yep, brown yep. butter. And then we just fry them to a nice, light, crisp. Ooh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, watch yourself. Okay. That's going to fry up and get all crispy. And while that's yeah, cooking yeah. a little bit, Aaron, I want to ask you about, of course, when calls the heart. Yeah. The big wedding is coming. It Jesse is. and Clara are getting married. We're all very, very excited about it. And I know that you and Eva Bourne, who plays Clara, yeah. are, are just so close. And on some level, it's got to feel like you're getting married for real. I know. Well, it's been five years together now. Yeah. Five years. So... I mean, as actors and as characters, but I mean, even for me and Eva, it's like we've been through so much together, ups and downs. Is, it's been amazing. And I, when I first saw her come with her, her wedding dress, well, first when I read the script, I was like, oh my gosh, like everything is coming to fruition. I kind of got a little teary eyed. Oh, and then yeah. the moment we actually Jeez. shot to, yeah, you see, because we've been working together for so long. But that's also the that sign a of a good actor. Yeah. It is totally, yeah. It's a relationship, yeah. it's a sign yeah. of a good actor too, that's that so part of you sweet. is that Jesse, and okay, we got a clip now, we're gonna go take a look at you and yeah. uh, your Jesse and Clara are talking about um, a groomsman and bridesmaid yeah, options right. and oh, who they should choose. Let's take a look. <laughs> okay. Ooh, thanks for the sandwich. <laughs> Well, you've been working so hard. I thought I'd bring you lunch. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> so, did you talk to Elizabeth? Uh, she said yes. Great. Now we're even. I wanted to apologize. For what? Well, for getting upset when you asked Kevin. Oh, yeah? I mean, plans are meant to be broken, right? We should be able to ask whoever we want to be part of our wedding party without the other person getting upset. Who else did you ask to be your bridesmaid? Fiona. She's been a good friend. It just happened. Claire, we talked about this. Now our numbers don't match. Jesse. <laughs> I'm kidding. The more the merrier. <laughs> no, it's just that to find another groomsman. Yes, you will. Have a good day. Thanks. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Good. Young love. Love. The joys of planning. Oh. It's so sweet. You guys are adorable yeah. together, and I know you're going to love digging into these programs. And You've been working hard, you guys. Together. Take a bite. Right? Enjoy. You're going to love them, Aaron. You're going to let us cream. know uh, what yeah. Nana would think when you have a little bite. Okay, be sure to watch Aaron in When Calls the Heart, of course, Sundays at 8, 7 Central, right here on Hallmark Channel. And as always, you can find well done, this amazing Aaron. recipe at HallmarkChannel.com. Enjoy.